Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing um, just an update video about all the products that I've been testing up till this moment and what have just stood out and what's been the best so far. So this is kind of like the top products until uh, it's June 2nd now but we could yeah let's just say until June 2nd or the end of March. So let's go ahead and start with ESCs. Now ESCs the best ESCs we have are the Tico 32 4-in-1 ESC. Uh, the Tico I'll leave a link to everything down below. Tico 32 4 one ESC and the regular uh, standalone ESCs. Obviously, the standalone ESCs are better because they have more filtration per ESC than the 4 one ESC, but they're still both good. The Tico 32 is still by far the best I've ever tested in noise testing perspective. So that's the two best products here, and these combos are just absolutely awesome also. It's a headache-free. Um, let me see. Just don't get the Tico that's not a 32. That one's terrible. Uh, these are all good here. Yeah, everything's good here. So these products are just awesome I'll leave a link to this down below so you can go ahead and check it out Another ESC that has been uh, very good is the Dow RC engine for ESCs currently uh, This was the second best ESC and this one. I've done real-world testing this it's been the second best ESC in the noise perspective uh, on the on the bench but this one I've also uh, Done real-world testing and it's phenomenal. I have it on two quads now it's just insane. So this one is just absolutely crazy. They're going to be out of stock for 10 to 15 days soon. So if Banggood runs out right now, uh, Dollar C is completely out. And uh, they're waiting to um, like 10 to 15 days until they get their new batch. So that's going to be out for a while. I have two pieces at my shop, two combos. Both the FC and the Engine ESC will be out of stock for 10 to 15 days from today. Uh, so take that into perspective. So this is also a very good, good ESC. This is like a headache, you know, no headache ESC. So that's very good. Now, let's talk about flight controllers. Flight controllers, where I really loved, is to be honest, I like the Matek F405. It's nice. It's really good. Uh, CTR. That one's a very good ESC. But I'm also starting to prefer now, also the Kakute. The Kakute is a good one. The Kakute V2, both the FC and the all one flight control. However, with the Kakute, it has a sensitive gyro, so you might be slightly prone to some twitches and some filter you need to set up some filters basically so take that into consideration if you're going to purchase this now the best esc is just the dal rc all-in-one and the fc because these have a nine volt regulator on board they have a high quality nine volt regulator on board which gives you absolutely phenomenal um beautiful beautiful feed here i'll leave a link to it also down below so that one was very good i really love them uh dal rc still has these in stock i got i talked to them if they're able to give us 10 for the shop and they said okay and they'll be shipped out on monday so they'll be here probably the end of next week so if anyone wanted to i'll keep you guys updated if anyone want to get from me they'll be cheaper than here obviously um so yeah this this is a very good one and the uh dal rc fc they don't even have it i don't know why let's see for some reason, this is the all one flight control. It's phenomenal. It's beautiful. It takes up to like an 8S. It's just insane. Dal RC. Oh, well, that's why. Dal RC. So we can go ahead and check it out here. Yeah, here's a flight controller. So this is also a very good flight control. These two connect together. I've, as you've seen them, I've tested the living crap out of them. They're the two previous videos, I believe, when I really did testing on these. Bench testing. And they just performed spectacular. They were just very, very good. So that's a huge, huge, huge plus. This is a very nice, beautiful stack here. I only have two pieces left right now. Two combos. If anyone wanted some, I'll leave a link to also the shop down below. You can go ahead and check it out. So yeah, that, that's something also that's very good. Uh, what else did we test? Oh yeah, the best budget ESCs. If you don't have much money and you're debating, you know, you have like $15 per ESC, you might as well not use that $15 for anything and you might just use $10 per ESC and it's the fly color. Uh, Raptor, it's a 30 amp, this one. This tested absolutely crazy phenomenal, these right here. Look at this. Uh, if you get them separate, they're 15 bucks a pop. But if you buy them all together, they're around $10 a pop. Plus these little, um, you know, what are they called? Uh, ESC protectors. So I'll leave a link to these down below. These were the best, most insane. Especially if you set this up with a Dal RC F405 old one flight controller. Oh my goodness. You're just going to have an absolute beautifully clean feed. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something that's, yeah. See, under restocking, that's how good they are. They're completely out of stock. And I just sold the last three, four pieces I had in my shop also. So they're completely out of stock everywhere. That's how good they freaking are. So take that into consideration. I'm trying to get some as soon as possible for the shop. Try to see if the fly color will agree to 20 pieces. And if you don't know what about my shop, it's basically I talk to vendors to get things for cheap for us. 
and um, I do benefit a little bit slightly from it not as much as you guys and the manufacturer benefit but um, what I try to do is word of mouth marketing so basically you try if it's really good you're obviously gonna tell your friends so you know word spreads that it's a good product so I try to get it for you for cheap it also keeps everything kind of going and keeps things kind of interesting so I try to get the best of the best products for cheaper than you could find them anywhere online at, at my shop and everything is usually limited quantity they don't agree they say okay we give you a limit of 20 I'll say okay can I have 10 now you know and this is how it works so this is also a very good one let's talk about quadcopters um i got a bunch of quadcopters but i have not flown them yet except one um this one i freaking love it however you know the batteries tend to not really last that long so you're gonna have to pick up some more batteries this thing is insane literally insane it's a carbon fiber body which is very nice to see because usually most of them come plastic and they just start bending and making all weird noises and just moaning in the air and stuff it's, it's terrible but this thing is incredibly awesome. However, take something into consideration with this. It will not bind to EU transmitters. So take, yeah, so just be, be aware of that. It's, it's a pain to bind it. But after you bind it and you can just enjoy the living hell out of it. I really, really love this one. And, you know, you get the standard version. Let me, let me, let me put it into perspective. Do you know what you even get with this? Look, it's not even that thing flies amazing. It's cheaper than most that fly like crap because I've gotten a couple that fly like absolute crap. And check this out. This thing comes with a trillion things. Look at this. So it comes obviously with the the whole quad built, blah, blah, blah. You also get three high volt batteries. You get this six six way lipo charger for these little guys. And you get a propeller assembly tool and a screwdriver, which is just incredible. Like the three batteries and that charger alone. And the thing is, they don't even have a picture of the charger. I have a video. I'll leave a link to the video also down below so you can see what it comes with. It's pretty awesome, actually. Um, I don't have any flight footage because, you know, where I was flying, I'm not supposed to record and upload. Um, just that's the that's what they told me. I'm allowed to fly. Just don't record and upload it. So I need to find a place to fly this indoors, really, uh, so I can, like, record. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and find a place for that. But this thing is absolutely incredible. For 100 bucks, you cannot find a better deal on this thing. I bet I'm, I'll, you know, what? I'll even probably try to talk to them, see if we can get us one, uh, see if we can get us like five of these, see how cheap we can get them for. Maybe we can get them for like 80 bucks or 70 bucks. I can sell them for you guys. So that'd be pretty good. Uh, that'd be pretty awesome if we can. Let me know if you guys would like that also. I'll, I'll contact them and I'll show them the comments. Maybe they'll say, okay, you know what? We'll give you a good deal so you can give them a good deal. So that'd be pretty cool if they did that. Um, what else do we have that stood out? Well, I think that's currently it. Right now, I'm working on ESC testing to actually compare and show you how good each of the things that I just said are good compared to other things. So currently, I finished my testing rig for four ESCs instead of just one like we usually do. So we could monitor the whole quad. And it's going to be pretty interesting and pretty reliable. And uh, just almost realistically, like, I mean, you have four motors running, doing maneuvers, you know, more harder than you would in real life. So this way, I could even make the test results seem worse than they would be in real life, thus giving us a really good reading so we can kind of get an idea. So if we pound the crap out of it on the testing rig and it performs like crazy, then in real life, it will definitely surely test like crazy, but time will tell. I can't, this is my theory and it's very logical. So we'll see how well that turns out once we do that. And let's just do a quick, just a quick look real quick. I don't want to take most of your time here. Uh, as you can tell, yeah. We have these oh, because I reviewed them. I'm just checking out, um, you know, the the what are the electric skateboards? The electric skateboards really, I swear to you, it just changed my life since I received mine. And I only received mine like a week ago, I think, or a couple days ago. And um, it's just insane. It's literally insane. Crazy. So what do we have here? We have some new motors. 6080 KV. I don't know what that's going to be used for. Probably bigger quads here. Maybe this is like the X class. I'm not sure. Um, Jeb RC has a little tower going for him. Nothing really much. I mean, Geb RC, do you know who makes Geb RC's motors? RC and Power makes them. So that's something uh, to take note of here. So, all right. Let's see here. Um, all right. I had that YouTube live chat going. Maybe I'll do a live stream later on. So yeah, that, that, that snapper, what I was talking about, it comes with this thing here. This is like a six-way charger that takes, you know, DC input, whether it's a battery like a, a LiPo or a 12-volt, you know, power jack like from the wall. And you could set it between high volt and normal uh, LiPos to charge. It's pretty insane. It charges six at once. I really freaking love it. Look at this. And you could even charge your phone if you wanted to or your GoPro. I mean, GoPro doesn't really make any sense but because <laughs> you're not going to be putting a GoPro on it. So it's it's very nice. I really do like that. You get that with the kit. It's just insane. Not the exact name, but obviously from the same manufacturer because they look alike. And 
What else do we have? I think I, I received that new motors from Razer Star. I still haven't tested them. And Emacs is releasing a new motor. Banggood contacted me and actually said, hey, would you like to test this pre-production motor that we're going to uh, be getting from Emacs? So that's going to be pretty cool and pretty interesting. Finally, Emacs haven't, hasn't came up with a new motor. Oh, no, they did the Emacs Lite, but it didn't really gain much attraction. It was pretty heavy. And people, you know, you know, compare, like put them together. Emacs Lite, it should be light, but it wasn't light. So that's why people, I think, started hating on it um and yeah emacs is kind of just i don't know lately it's been a hit and miss product especially with the towers let's see what else do we have here new let's see quadcopters rc quadcopters let's see why is everything mixed oh sorry about that all right rc quadcopters let's see what's new here mm, nothing looks pretty interesting what the hell is this that looks crazy yeah, this is, I mean, this is the most interesting thing. I've seen some people get the FR Sky. That's pretty crazy. They got the controller. Um, uh, that's just awesome. So I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to try to get one. See how well that is. And I think that's it, guys. That's really it right now. There isn't really much going on for it. I'm getting those new ESCs, those Mumba ESCs. that look pretty interesting that came with the Ditone. They're like super flat. I think they came with the Ditone. I don't know why I'm, I'm putting them with the Ditone. Let's just see. If we go to ESC here. Let's see what we get. They're, they're these little slim ones. They're rated up to 40 amps, but I just figured something out about them. They're actually made by Flycolor. So that has huge, huge, I have a huge high hope for this. I mean, those should, in theory, perform with these guys right here. So the Flycolor is the one that makes these, as I as I know, as I, and I think. Um, so I'm going to double check this and probably get some in for testing. And if they're good, we'll put them on the shop. So uh, that'd be pretty good. Hopefully they're good because uh, we kind of already had a little contact with fly color before. So I'm going to try to get this under restocking. I don't know. Maybe they're really that good. I don't understand. They're pretty damn awesome, actually. So if you ever see another one come out, don't say they cloned diatone. They just went to fly color and got it done. Um, so, yeah, these are pretty good. I gave them away. Um, this one's on its way. I still haven't received it yet. But yeah, that's really it, guys. So I'm going to have a, a mailbag video. I've I got a, received a bunch of things. I can't fly. I have the summer rainstorm, thunderstorms right now. So it's just been raining constantly and it's super hot and humid. It's terrible. And um, yeah, so we'll be checking out more flights and more testing very soon on the channel. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And please consider joining my Patreon. Help support this channel. Help keep this channel going. And uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.